They look happy together. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. I wonder what Gabe's favorite track on here was. I think Gabe had more fun at his job than anyone. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Gabe. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lucan, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Maybe don't cash Jed. Thanks for being there when Gabe needed you. I bet Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Things got pretty heated back there. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs>
have no idea what to even say to him. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. Is that Jed without his beard? Guess nobody needed this. Forecast called for rain, but the sky. I had an incredible mom. And I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said. She said, you're exactly what these mountains need. Bye, Mom. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. Gabe Chen, smooth criminal. I wish we'd had more time. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. We had courage and devotion that night too. Wasn't enough, I guess. That's more like it. I know how you feel. Damn, Ducky. Would have been fun to let Gabe kick my ass at pool. This town has a long memory. Guess it's nice to know that Gabe won't be forgotten. I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if Ryan hadn't cut that rope. I bet he... Why do I feel like this is a challenge?
Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or I could probably use a little more practice. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. You're coming downstairs. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. If I never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah, that'd be good. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Okay, this is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. Accident. Was it on the news? No, no one's been fired. Yet. Yes, Mom. I, I still have a job at Typhoon. I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Mm-hmm. 
Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I am dreaming. Everything feels so strange now. Under this old town sky. I wonder if there's still meaning in all the things I'm feeling. Should I say? fun to explore. If not for the paddling, kayaking would be super relaxing. Sorry about leveling all your mountains. Here's a bench. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. I haven't been a bartender long, but I'm pretty sure these are supposed to stay in the bar. This is cool, in a wicker man sort of way. I think this whole town is a pagan cult, but I can't rule it out either. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... He looks so... alone. to stop telling me. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay. Definitely not fine. I'm here for you whenever you need me. I'm here for you, whenever you need me. Ah, this is awful. He was so young. He must be reading about Gabe. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the Spring Festival ends with a ritual sacrifice. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. I feel like there's a lesson here about love leaving a mark on the world, but I'm not in the fucking mood. You're writing a novel? Since when? What if I die tomorrow? Just like that guy. What have I done with my life? 
I don't have any easy answers for that. It's great. But we wanted to take a class. What if I die tomorrow? Just like that guy. What have I done with my life? Oh, sorry. Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Please, I need you. Is she looking for cool binoculars? You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Feels so weird to be preparing for a celebration. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is just literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. I always figured mining was dangerous, but damn. To him, I wasn't really sure what to say. This location gets all the foot traffic. Oh, customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. Gabe was too young. Just too young. Bet Pike's really had his work cut out for him these last few days. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how are you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... When you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. Mac Loudon? The guy that showed up at Gabe's place, throwing punches. The safety manager on duty that night is lying to you. That's my statement. I know you're angry, Alex. But it's an ongoing investigation. I'm still going to need to interview you. Sure. Whatever. Insert epiphany about new beginnings here. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. Nice to know, hipsters can survive at this altitude. likely that anything with Typhon will change. They've been the largest employer in Haven for decades. Yeah. Nothing says festive like three exclamation points. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jet, I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. Hey. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. I mean, you don't know that. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait. Wait. 
guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. She seems pretty upset. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no. And that we were done. And now... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Sorry, Riley. I don't think he's innocent. What could be back there? Damn. Maybe there's something around here I can use to get it open. Somehow, 
Even after everything, I never had to live on the street. I hope this person's all right. This should get that gate open. I've broken into places for less. I cannot stress this enough. Ha. Ye. And I cannot stress this enough. Ha. I know what this means. Somewhere, there's a dog I need to pet. Simple, but effective. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Sorry about today. It's not- One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Your fault. But I was really looking- Wind Chimes, the original jam band. Well, we can try again when I come out with Mom. Steph and asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. I don't get it. Nothing says festive, like three exclamation points. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I look, don't have to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. Just going to by? Things will get better. Piratey Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Fine, you were right about Piratey Peaches. Oh, I was- We're losing our business, but it's like, Everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out. Should Get truth from Mac now. Sightsee later. You haven't been putting actual rum in it again, have you? Uh, no. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. You buy your chicken coop? No, I could... Might be a good time to check out the dispenser. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. Finally. Ah! Yikes. Cancel. Cancel. Not transfer. Cancel. Oh, it's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time.
Yeah. A warning would have been nice. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said ch- Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex. Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate it. She said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Same. But Gabe would understand. She said it's not betrayal. Still makes me feel sick. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like works of art that can, I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. 
God. Put some clothes on. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I... That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Well, there's something you don't see in Portland. I really love Charlotte's style. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. I could totally paint that. I just don't want to. These are my kind of discounts. A little steep, but can you really put a price on a kid's dreams? Nice contribution, Gabe. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes, we're all suffering here. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah. Talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. doesn't let up, my job's gonna get a lot harder. I know I'm right, Pike. I'll prove it. 
Not sure when the words Gabe Chen and Wake will stop being weird. But now isn't it? Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. You don't say. Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Helpful. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Another issue of legendary monster hunter Thanor. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Val, I just want to be friends. Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog. Right? Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. Chrissy. Wait, isn't that the name of the found dog? I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. I should tell him someone found his dog. Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Thank you so much. I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I I thanks again. Me and Chrissy owe you one. You bet. Still going. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. Haven's favorite and only choice for modern Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Talked is maybe too strong a word. I tried. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah but designed just for him and Thanor. 
he'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Stormrather looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. The Spring Festival is just around the corner. Sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Alto is a good name for a bard. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Let's go with distortion field. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. It's sweet she's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I?
She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Great things have small beginnings, or something. To help fill the gaping void inside, we offer you our condolences in the form of this mass-produced card. I should get an emotional support dog, but like, for other people. That must have been a different time. I've definitely lived in uglier places. Okay, Riley is officially a badass. They look like they have a really sweet relationship. Everyone wants an orchid until they realize how much work it takes to keep them alive. Kind of like Falk Abe never did teach me how to ride a bike. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. How does she hide all of this? How does she hide all of this?
How does she hide all of this? If they know, if they about, know my about my condition, they'll make me close this place. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Does Riley know? You could ask her. Oh, no, no. I can't ask Riley. I wouldn't want to bother her. Maybe try closing your eyes and really concentrating on what you were doing. If only. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I, I want to help. Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did anything happen with Riley? I... I don't know. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. 
but I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. I wonder who called. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I missed it. Sorry. Hey, it's um... Excuse me. <laughs> okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. I hope it's good news. That must have been a different time. Oh God, they're multiplying. I should get an emotional support dog, but like for other people.
Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Hide from me forever, Mac. Fuck. Here we go. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. There are a few things I want to do. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Good. He's scared. Time to find out the truth. All right. Am I ready for this? Okay. Let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. 
Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It should have been you instead. Alex? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck up makes you guilty too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. Yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay.
You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You saved Ethan. That kid is alive right now because of you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless, but we saved Ethan, and you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. <laughs> You're not alone. In a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. 
Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Mac, Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. Whatever it is you're thinking about, glad I was able to help. But I think I'll pass on the kisses. We're going to send him off right this time. About right now? Don't stop, okay? Keep going. What emotion is this? together. How deep you think? Deeper than that. <laughs> the Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. If the Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces, the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? Gabe, Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? 
<laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to tow the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Okay then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. You're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. <laughs> This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, 
I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Show.